Eugenia Rosenstrike had done, but one takedown, that's a wrap. Well, honestly, when, when I look at Rosenstrike and Almeida, I look at what DC did in this division, and he's kind of following suit. You get to the shot, and then once you get the man down, you stay heavy, you create some ground and pound opportunities, you take the half guard, you go to mount, you go from mount to rear naked choke, and it's rinse, repeat. I mean, we've seen some of the greatest grapplers in the world use these tactics, but we haven't seen it a lot at heavyweight other than the John Joneses, the Daniel Cormier's, the best, the elite of the elite. And now we're seeing these other heavyweights sneak through with the same tactics and have the same skill set, the strength and the heaviness on top. I just don't know if we've seen an Almeida, right? Because his his base level jujitsu or his jujitsu understanding is higher than mine is, higher than Jones is in terms of just straight jujitsu. But he's so explosive. When he takes these guys down, they look lost. And I don't know if there's a better time than ever to be a heavyweight because it's not littered with wrestlers or guys that have jujitsu backgrounds. The days of the Fabricio Verdunes and Cain Velasquez yeah. and all those guys are done. Now it's a whole bunch of strikers. Yeah. So Jael to the Almeida, it seems as though his ceiling is limitless. Yeah. Because he can do that to just about anyone. We've seen Jarzinho fight the best. Yeah. Went 25 minutes with Cyril. Right. Imagine right. you put Jailton in there with Cyril. Right. How do you favor Cyril Gunn? No argument for me, to <laughs> I mean, be sure. Yeah, and he's number two kid in the, guy in the, country, the world. And by the way, Jailton Almeida can strike too. He can strike too. He just but hasn't had to hasn't show it. Hasn't had to show it. One man who can also strike Ian Machado, Gary. He maxed. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.